Hey, this is Jane for Outside Xbox, and today I will be playing Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise, which is out now for 1200 points on the XBLA store. I'm going to be giving it a bash so you can see if it's something you'd enjoy and if it's worth your money. This XBLA game is a sequel to a boxed game called Naughty Bear that came out in 2010. So the central conceit is the same. You play this bear, this brown bear with the stitches. He's called Naughty, and he is here on this rather nice looking tropical island to murder and terrify and maim other bears who for various reasons deserve to be terrified and murdered and maimed. Now there's a stealth element, you can see um, the cone of vision on this bear in front of me on the minimap there in the bottom right, but whenever I'm in, uh, whenever I'm in the jungle bits I can't be seen. I'm going to sneak up on him and show him what's what. I'm going to go for an object kill with the right trigger for a bonus and he's going to get eaten by this little shop of horrors dude and then I'll get all the coins so yeah there are contextual kills and weapon kills obviously I'm carrying around this rake at the moment so there are themed weapons in the levels and you generally pick up more points for, for variety and, uh, and also for scaring the bejesus out of other bears, not just polishing them off with maximum efficiency. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. That's charming. He's just having a, having a piss on the jungle. Hang on, let's grab this guy. Let's take him into the jungle and steal his clothes. Goodbye, delicate. And now I've nicked his uh, Hawaiian shirt there, lovely. So with costumes, you can um, sneak up to other bears without them realizing who you really are. The gag that you are uh, a bear and you're disemboweling and dismembering other bears sort of reminds me of bad taste bears, which are these figurines of bears being gross. Look at this stripy tiger bear, I feel bad for him. He's, he's kind of adorable. All right, I'm just gonna go for a straight kill here on Squeaky. Right, so, yeah, bad taste bears, which are these figurines of bears, like, hey, here's a bear with a dildo, and here's one with an exploded silicon implant, and here's one crucifying a bunny rabbit. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it reminds me of. So if you find that funny, then you'll probably get on pretty well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this genetically modified plant mine here. It's a trap. It's like a man trap. Oh, I thought I could pick up maybe one of those garden gnomes and uh, bludgeon someone to death with it, but apparently not. Alright, let's try for a nice loud boo. Which <coughs> frightened them a little bit, and they're going to come and investigate, and with a little bit of luck. There we go, one of them's in the trap. As you can see, I'm racking up all the points because everyone's terrified. You've got a key target in each scenario, like in this level, in this gardening themed level, it's a bear called Pudding, uh, but you also rack up points for terrifying and murdering all the other bears. Right, I'm a bit vulnerable here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, it's like every stealth game I've ever played. See, it's not exactly a full-on action game. You won't get very far just by attacking everyone. And you're sort of vulnerable. You do have a health bar. But you're also pretty powerful in that they just won't, at this stage, come on into the forest to, uh, to hunt you out. I'm going to take your costume. And now I'm disguised as a gardener. And now all the other gardeners should let me... let me wander around uh, unmolested. Now, this dude up here, he's my primary target. Let's take this pipe as a second weapon. This is the guy. This is the guy who'd be so easy. You're getting in the boat? What? No, not on my watch. Object kill. That's a curb stomp or a boat stomp. So that's my primary objective completed. That's pudding with his neck snapped. 
by the boat he would have made his escape on. And while we're here, let's have a look at the sea and the, uh, the sunset. Uh-oh, <laughs> this guy's seen a corpse. I know he's terrified. Let's, uh... Oh, no, come back. I just, I just want to be friends. I just want to be fire buddies. No, yeah, come back. This one is... Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm so unfit. Grab this guy. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Weaken him and grab him. Grab him. Put him in the lawnmower. Put him in the lawnmower. Right, goodbye botanist Flopsy. So what I was trying to say before I was interrupted is that the environments are really rather nice looking. At this early stage, there seems to be a lot more variety than there was in the first game, which was a lot of log cabins in a lot of pretty samey looking forest. All right, stats, here's my end of level stat screen. As you can see, I've picked up, uh, picked up some health, some stamina. I'm somewhat insane. Uh, but have no armor or regeneration to speak of. The hockey mask here that I cannot afford um, gives you 40 health points, 25 stamina, and a bunch of armor. That's pretty good, but I cannot afford it by a long shot. What I can afford is the Beverly Hills beard, bed, and then a bunch of weapons, knuckle dusters, boxing gloves, tree branch. So yeah, you can pick these up as part of your regular attire rather than just nicking them off other bears in the level as you find them. Uh, I quite like the sneakers because uh, they confer extra, extra stamina and I am finding myself out of breath when I'm sprinting around after other bears, so let's go for that. My, what a big mouth Goober has. He's always saying mean things about you. To punish him, you should get yourself a fancy dress costume, take him into the woods, and then choke him to shut him up for good. So yeah, as you heard, there is a sort of overarching storyline in that all your bear friends, or bear enemies, I guess, have come to this island paradise without you. And so you're gonna punish them for that in addition to their, their individual bad deeds. So this is the third level in the game. And what I was saying earlier about repetitive environments, it is mixing it up a bit. There's different kind of level furniture, but also a heavy prevalence of uh, jungle. As you might expect, it is a jungle island. There's a dance floor and a party going on in this, uh, in this mansion. Now also to address the problems that came out of reviews for the first game, which did not review at all well. So I'm gonna refer briefly to the review of Mike Channel of Outside Xbox also. In his previous life, he reviewed Naughty Bear for official Xbox magazine in the UK. For one thing, in his review of the last game, Mike said controlling the camera, quote, is like juggling with live rats. I think I can vouch for the sequel as having improved the camera, or at least I haven't had any any camera issues worth writing home about so far. So points for that, <laughs> points to Artificial Mind and Movement, the developer. Good job. Now I'm going to look around for some neat contextual kills because I'm getting a little tired of just beating everyone to death. Alright, I'm yet to nail. There you go, come and investigate Mr. Security Guard there. <laughs> Hilariously, you still can't see me behind this leaf. Turn around. This is not unlike how I played Dishonored, in fact. Right. I bet you I could smack his head with that cooler. But the other guy's going to see me as well. That's okay. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Have some cooler, cooler stuff. Is anyone legging it? Because if they are, I'm going to have to stop them. That guy's going for the boat. He's going to get the cops. He can also go for the cops. You! Hold it. You're only making it worse for yourself. Smash witness. No! Come back, come back. My murder on the dance floor. I... Silky this is. Oh, I wanted to murder Look you on the dance floor. Like in the song. Hmm. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, that symbol means someone's gone for the boat. It's trying to start the boat. Not so fast, matey. Oh, I should have gone for an object kill, not just sliced his throat, apparently. Shh. Grab. Get him in the fire. Get him in the fire. There we go. Torched. Ooh. He's getting scared. I'm going to take your costume, Chuckles. This kind of flat top wig on, which was his entire costume for the costume party. Apparently, he is a VIB sort of Dame Edna style glasses, Mardi Gras mask. Okay, fair enough. Now I should be able to stride on in. No. Oh, what? Oh, okay, all right. Everyone saw through my disguise, my <laughs> magnificent disguise. I'm just gonna beat you to death with an umbrella. Come on. Uh oh, uh oh. This isn't looking good for Naughty Bear. Okay, there are some of those, some camera issues. Some camera issues. <laughs> whack, 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 whack. Grab, grab, and finish off with the umbrella, please. Right in the face. Alrighty, so while I hang out in the jungle and wait for these security bears to pass me by and also grab this tree branch, yes, while I grab this tree branch, I'm going to refer to Mike's review again in which he said of the first game of the first Naughty Bear we suffered regular lockups in both single and multiplayer and I had the same issues as well in fact playing the first game on transitions between levels. I would not infrequently get proper lockups, proper freezes that required hard resets. And the good news is, the good news is, I've had nothing, nothing like that so far in this game. So that's good. I mean, at a bare minimum, they fixed the crash problem. So good. Let's go for a, uh, a tree branch kill here. If I grab him, grab, grab, and then go for a kill with a tree branch through the neck. Watch these guys freak out, finding their friends dead of tree branch and campfire. <laughs> Ow, that looks painful. It's completely impaled on a spike bush. So, also worth noting, as I grab this meat cleaver, is there is no multiplayer in Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise, unlike the first game, which had a few different multiplayer modes, um, which means you're getting slightly less for your money. Oh, God. They just have toilets out. There's little more satisfying than shoving the head of one of those horrible bears down the toilet, is there, Naughty? You can also flush invitations and make sure they never come back. Such a fancy mansion with their two toilets next to each other in the living room. Gross, these bears. These bears know how to live. If only we could go into the jungle. The dangerous jungle. Oh, it's too risky. Yoink! And into the jukebox? Jukebox, yes. And go. Charming, charming as ever. So right now I've got a bronze trophy. If I keep on upping my score, I'll get a silver and then a gold and then a platinum. And that's that's really the point of the game is uh, leveling up, getting better scores, picking up items and costumes. I can't figure out what's making these singing sounds, so I'm going to have to put up with it, and so are you. <laughs> Such is the directional sound, I cannot tell where that noise is coming from. What's that? 
An ornament with an enormous spike on it? Really, they're making this too easy for us. <laughs> you might say that. You might say that they are making it too easy for us. <laughs> so while I hunt around to find a machete to finish off my main target, the last remaining bear, in the proper manner, uh, let's wrap up a little bit. Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise is a better executed version of 2010's Naughty Bear, but it's very much the same conceit, the same idea, the same action. The combat is not terribly varied or terribly skillful. I'm not getting the crashes, I'm not getting the same monotony of environment, but it's the same joke, the same central conceit, the same kind of one-trick pony, and uh, how much uh, mileage you get out of it, I guess depends heavily on how amusing you find it, eviscerating teddy bears. Alright, I'm going to finish you off with the wrong weapons because I can't find that machete anywhere. Come here, come here. Come on, take it like a bear. Here we go. Nope, nope. Oh, oh. That was not a, that was not a noble death normal, I'm sorry. Also in its favour is the fact this is a 1200 point XBLA game and not a full priced boxed product like the original. I think it sits a lot more comfortably in the XBLA store than it does on a shop shelf. Alright, thanks for joining me. This has been Jane for Outside Xbox playing Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise. Come on back for more.